Okay, come on, tick over a second. There you go. Hello. I am the mess of hair on top of a head in this video known as Katana the Lightning Cat. YouTube and possibly even your favorite idiot. Stay out of my peripheral vision hair. There. Just get it out of my face. Out of my peripheral. Over the continuance of the illusion of what you call time, for an indescript or unspecified, non specific amount of a bracket, a big chunk thereof. I've watched a bunch of videos, conspiracy theories, um, let's see, what else? So-called experts and, and followers and studiers of different areas of um, knowledge, which in the business they call uh, expertise in a field of study. Nice way of calling it. Field of study. Big broad area to study lots of things in. That's the problem. All these people that I've been watching, they're not experts in a broad field of study. They pick one teeny little piece of information and say, I know everything about this bit of information, but they don't know everything about it because that's impossible when you only study this one teeny little thing and you don't study all of the other things that interact with it, like a fine-tuned meshwork of cogs and gears, turning cogs and gears inside of another meshwork of cogs and gears, turning cogs and gears, chaos theory. They don't know how all of the other things around that niche topic they're studying and blithering on about and repeating themselves. And quite literally, I think it was either the Atlantis Report or... Well, what's the other one? Epic Economist. Literally uploaded the exact same video exact same video twice just retitled <laughs> within one week because just all the stress of the situation and all the nonsense got to him I guess that's the best thing to say about it the absolute worst they just forgot and didn't get to it because they moved on to the next subject. So the problem with studying just one tiny thing is they know this mountain of information that has arisen to, to support this one teeny tiny thing. And this mountain of information isn't the traditional conic shape, it's, it's a fucking narrow pillar. That's not, um, that's not an equitable or fair knowledge base. Not for them, not for me, not for anyone watching them. Because lots of videos have gone on about, oh, this is the truth behind uh, th this thing, or this is the truth behind this thing, but that they haven't taken into account the massive, massive planet-wide area of expertise that affects their tiny little field. That's just one reason to do more than research one tiny topic like an economist just going through numbers and, and statistics on that 
and and then you can look to reports coming out of uh, adjusted uh, um, adjusted monthly and annual numbers for unemployment reports and how how underreported it really is and how idiots in their so-called field are being mocked and ridiculed by various other YouTubers because they're not taking into account all of the factors involved in the equation. A good example, uh, don't remember the fucker's name, but uh, I was watching uh, just some more news YouTube channel, and he was going on about that, along with the uh, the homeless problem, and how companies closing and refusing to rehire people, and then you know, not giving the proper stimulus to the, the people who buy from these companies who support those jobs for them to go back to work too. That's a that's a spiral logic, not a circular logic. Because that particular spiral grows outward. It's not a it's not a downward toilet bowl spiral where it's all circling the drain. It's um It's not exponential, but it is a growth factor, or uh, something that starts small and expands and becomes larger. So these experts sitting there in Congress and whatnot, they don't know jack fucking shit because they're they're idiots. They don't know everything going on. How could they? They have no life experience. Ugh. leftover oil they went to school for politics and I actually had a uh, a mock-up debate with a political student when I was working at KFC locally before it was shut down which was several years before this virus outbreak simply pulled the band-aid off the festering pus wound that is human sociology right now and I spent some time thinking about that encounter and my initial conclusion that I snapped to right after that uh, encounter was it's simply ADHD and ADD in motion because they're just jumping from one topic to the next they're not answering your question they're they're just bang 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 no attention no thought it's just a series of programmed questions and responses that's all politics and bureaucracy really ever was just part of what's called the Confusopoly. And there's no real knowledge in it. It's just training people to swallow and puke up information as quickly as possible and to, to move on to the next bullshit debate. And as of recently, it's been reduced to nothing more than what's called sound bites. Where you take something important and you condense it into a snap response. Like titling a video on YouTube. Otherwise known as clickbaiting. See how it works? See how it's similar? You say one thing, you do another. You lie. Call it what it is. I'm, I'm not going to put fake labels on it. But at the core of it, it's just being a bitch. So all these bitches running around. Just being stupid. Because they have no real knowledge. And if your knowledge base isn't diversified and 
large enough to support you standing on top of it if you're standing on this thin little column like a toothpick slightest breeze is gonna fucking ruin you is that visual example a decent summary of what I'm saying or do you need more a broader information base means you can put more information into it <sighs> takes more to knock it down, doesn't it? Is that visual representation enough? So all these YouTubers who are going on about one teeny tiny thing unlike myself that, that applies to gamer YouTubers uh, financial expert YouTubers, economists tax specialists, le legalists, that applies to everyone, not just me. All these YouTubers going on with one fucking subject matter, they're short selling themselves, inhibiting their growth and expansion as an individual, propping themselves up on this thin column instead of a decent knowledge base making themselves obsolete when the shit finally hits the fan when the downward spiral finally goes down the drain when it's all finally said and done all these people going on about their predictions with their one teeny tiny knowledge base and their totem of bullshit to stand on that doesn't have a broad knowledge base of all the things involved with their all if null well, I can't call it an all if null, that, that would be a lie with their incredibly limited linear view of how the world works it's not linear it's like turbulent flow of of water or air really it's never moving just perfectly smoothly I did a video about uh, me blowing some smoke and, and fluid dynamics and it didn't flow straight it swirled. Here, I'll do it again. See me blowing it out, it didn't go straight. Because of thermal dynamics and the differential between the temperature of the air around it and how hot it is coming out of my body it flowed up even though the particles of smoke are heavier than standard air because they're more complex or larger molecules they're more dense they went up because of thermal dynamics and that line of sentencing in itself is just evident proof it's not laminar flow that's one specific part of of physics laminal flow turbulent flow thermal dynamics hydrodynamics all of those are properties of physics and even physics has a play in what's really going on in the world for example I saw a video talking about the technocracy that's fucking ludicrous. They haven't got the infrastructure in place for that. You would need massive bandwidth. Now, I'm not talking about gigabyte speeds or terabyte speeds. 
even though they've got terabyte speeds. You would need for the processing of all the variables for only one person you would need I'm, I'm about to use some technical terminology um, you would need petaflops of processing speeds and processing power now there's there's Hertz and gigahertz of uh, processing speeds on standard CPUs or central processing units or the little bitty chip inside your computer that's its essential brain there's there's upwards of gigahertz on it which is how fast it processes information Hertz is just uh, saying how many equations of math like one to the power of 44 and a half how many processes like that per second a single hurt would be one and uh, then hertz megs would be thousands or hundreds of thousands or is it somewhere somewhere in the thousands of regular hertz then gigs is beyond that by a factor of a, a few thousand then uh, terahertz is beyond that then petahertz is beyond that it's a doubling effect each each time or a multiplicative effect I'm not sure about calling it doubling it's not exponential it's not a, a folding factor it's just it's multiplied by a set number each time it goes up you would need thousands and thousands hundreds of thousands of petahertz of processing power to calculate the variables for one person through just a few minutes of their life that's without having a psychological profile database built on them knowing their habits what they do what they think you can't build a technocracy there's just not enough bandwidth there's not enough processing speed not even if you had wireless transmission on the 5g network no it's just it's not gonna work And then there's people saying, oh, the, the, the virus, it, it's part of their conspiracy <laughs> to take over the world. Even disregarding the talks I had with the fellow who set all these things in motion, there's not enough information to say this is solid. It's just not. Not in that teeny tiny narrow fucking sliver of a view that these idiots have. Such a narrow and constrained and rigid and unflexible mindset. They don't know a jack shit about what they're talking about. But holistically, because I keep track of more than just one piece of information because you know I'll occasionally look at what uh, the mainstream news channels are saying Fox CNN stuff like that just a few handful of a dozen or so official news channels I'll look at what the conspiracy theorists are saying I'll look at what experts who have their own channels are saying I'll compare all the information against each other against what I know I'll see the similarities I'll see the differences and if on the one particular point of interest everyone is saying something entirely different I'll know that that's just bullshit part of the confusopoly but two years ago 
I saw literally every conspiracy theorist, every economic channel, every prepper channel saying the exact same thing. Now I'm paying attention, I'm seeing things, I'm seeing subtle patterns emerge into larger patterns because I've applied chaos theory to it. I can tell you with certainty, just wait. Because here's a few key points to take note of. The first wave of this virus, it isn't over. It's still going. See anybody saying second wave? No. This is still the first wave, you idiots. I'm looking at you, Peak Prosperity. You're one of the big touters of the second wave theory. The first one hasn't even ended. <laughs> and then... People looking at technological advances and how drones were being used in other countries talking about the technocracy. No, dude. No. You're fucking idiots. You're not taking into account the thousands of other factors and dozens of other fields of study that are directly and indirectly relevant to the information you're attempting to present. That's a, that's a false flag. It's a red herring. Looking at that one specific thing. Saying, oh, this is the answer. No, no. It's not. It's not. Then there's, um... Then there's something that needs to be said. The black... Uh, lives matter anti-racial slash racial bullshit going on I knew as soon as that came out they're just rehashing the um, the previous nonsense trying to criminalize people of a different race racial supremacy they're doing that because that's part of the Confusopoly so that they can maintain control for just a little bit longer. Gives me a headache going on about this. Processing all this information, it gives me a headache. Because when I see dumb shit, I re instantly recognize it as dumb shit. Economics is a joke. An economy is a fallacy. Ancient Greeks, ancient Romans, they went through the same damn thing. Their economy just isn't anymore. And America's rehashing that. So I don't see a point talking about it. When it's the same song and dance, just a new time and date. I don't see a point in talking about a lot of things. It's just the same shit all over again. Nobody learned a damn thing. But a lot of the information that's coming out from leaks and official channels, it's just mindless dribble. So I'm, I'm ignoring most of it right now. And I'm just waiting. Because this is the point where that's the best thing to do. Wait and see what happens. Right, I've sufficiently given myself a massive fucking headache. Okay, yeah. There's links for PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App. If you enjoy any of the bullshit that I do, go there. Throw some of that fallacy credit my way so I can use it to get drunk and do dumb shit. Because that's what I prefer to do. Do dumb shit in video games. Till next time.